Two weeks ago, a tornado killed five people in Calhoun County, Alabama. Just a couple of days later, a seven-year-old boy in Calhoun, Georgia, found something that belonged to one of those people. Our Meredith Aldous has what it was. Cole Weaver found an Alabama driver's license. The tornado blew it 80 miles into his backyard. I was thinking this is so crazy that we found this. Cole says he was in his backyard playing baseball with his dad. When he went to grab one of the bases, he saw something in the grass. It was right in the corner of it. He picked it up and it was an Alabama driver's license. <laughs> I was a little confused. I'm like, I need. I gave the license to him and then he looked it up. It belongs to 68 year old Barbara Harris, who died in the tornado along with two of her family members. Latasha Harris Ramos lost her sister, mother, and father. My dad was funny and, and outgoing. My mom was kind of quiet, more serious type. My sister could be any of it. The National Weather Service in Birmingham says the tornado was at least an EF2. They're stronger than I thought. For it to travel that far in the air just kind of gives you an idea of what's going on way up there versus, you know, what, what, what he sees, you know, and then it makes you think about just, just how strong something can really be to carry something of that weight that far. They say there's a lot of coincidences with this license. My Papa Randy's last name is Harris, too. They live in Calhoun County. We're in Calhoun, Georgia. And then there, my last name is Weaver, and there's a town in Calhoun County that is Weaver. Weaver says maybe there's a message hidden in all of this. He says he hopes to give back the ID to the family if they want it. Reporting in the studio, Meredith Aldis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.